So the conservative race just got into the political equivalent of spilled milk, ending supply management. Now, this has been a sour issue for conservatives who have tried to end the system that protects over 10,000 dairy farmers, mainly in Quebec, parts of Ontario, with a tariff and quota system. The dairy lobby actively protects the system, uh, which they say keeps Canada with a steady, high-quality supply of products, but that critics argue keeps things like milk and cheese prices way higher in Canada than in the U.S. and hurts people at a time of inflation. And remember, the former Tory MP turned People's Party leader, Maxime Bernier, called for the end of supply management during the 2017 Conservative leadership race, and he lost that race largely due to that policy, and he lost to Andrew Scheer, who openly supported supply management. Remember, he famously afterwards drank a liter of milk. But now conservative leadership candidate Scott Aitchison is openly calling for the quota system to end again. But at what cost economically, what cost politically, and how would he actually do it? Let's find out. Joining me now is conservative leadership candidate Scott Aitchison. Uh, Scott, good to have you back on the program. By the way, we just discovered that Scott and I like the same classic rock from the 70s. So, but we're going to talk about supply management, uh, and then we can talk about music from the 70s, Scott. Uh, supply management, you want to end it. You know that Andrew Scheer basically won his leadership by supporting supply management when Max Bernier wanted to get rid of it. Why do you want to get rid of supply management, and, and, and why should conservatives support you? Well, supply management needs to end because it's a question of affordability for Canadian families. Supply management, uh, reports have shown that supply management adds almost $600 a year to the average Canadian family's grocery bill. That's insane. But the other thing it does is it limits Canadian farmers, world-class Canadian dairy farmers, from marketing products around the world. Just, Evan, just last year, small New Zealand with 5 million people exported $17 billion worth of dairy products all over the globe. And Canada exported just $378 million. We could do so much better. So this isn't about pitting farmers against uh, consumers. This is about providing opportunity for right. farmers to market their world-class products around but, the but world you, and make life more affordable. You know Terry farmers are going to be mad at you. you. You know they rallied behind Andrew Scheer. They want to protect their quota system. They say it protects good quality. Um, you know during the new NAFTA negotiations with the U.S., uh, Canada uh, defended supply management. In other words, this could be very politically costly for you. Do you care if it's costly in Quebec, given that's not your base? No, what I care about is Canadian families and Canadian farmers. There's no question that the transition away from 50 years of bad policy will take some time uh, and we'll have to negotiate and work with farmers. There'll be some compensation required as well. But any investments the Canadian government makes in, uh, in, in our agricultural sector should be designed to help them export their products and build their business and export Canadian products around the world and make life more affordable for Canadians. We can do both. It doesn't have to be an enemy versus enemy thing here. We can work together. I'm a collaborator. I'm a consensus builder. This is, this is good policy. It's good conservative policy. Yeah. It's good policy for all Canadians. Okay, I, I want to get to the conservative element, but first, when you say, you know, there'll, there'll be some compensation, let's not gloss over that. The compensation to, to, to pay the 12,000 farmers and for what the quota is could be in the billions and billions of dollars. What's the number? I, I'm not certain what the number is, but you should know that it's not 12,000 farmers, it's fewer than 11,000. When this policy was started, there was over 100,000 family dairy farms in the country, and the expense of quota has created so much consolidation uh, that there's been all kinds of transformation in the industry. And so if we can help those farmers make the next step in that transformation uh, with assisting them to market their product around the world, they'll do a lot better than they do right now, and Canadians will actually pay less at the grocery store. Well, so, so how, much, how much would the price of milk drop, if, in your view, if you got rid of supply management? I couldn't give you exact numbers. I couldn't give you exact numbers. But competition, we all know that competition is good for prices. But, but would competition be good for, for the dairy industry, or would they get wiped out by big American agri? That's the concern. Well, I, I, don't think, I don't think we should take such a defeatist approach to our world-class dairy farmers. We, we have some of the best dairy farms in the world. We have some of the best product in the world. 
let's have some more pride in what we do and market that around the world. Right. Uh, okay. uh, why isn't, why isn't, here's a question for you. Why isn't the New Zealand dairy market wiped out by the massive Australian market next door? There, there's no question that we have some of the best products, products in the world. We should be marketing that to the world. And frankly, the federal government could get back to doing one of the things it was created for in the first place, to help open, open markets around the world. Okay. Uh, you said, by the way, the Fraser Institute, a conservative think tank, they, they agree with you. They should follow the uh, Australian-New Zealand model. Uh, but you know fellow conservatives, the former leader, Andrew Scheer, and I think Pierre Polyevre, who talks a lot about freedom, they support this. Jean Charest supports this. He's a, he's a former Quebec premier. Um, what do you say... in? Is it a conservative? Can you be a consistent conservative in your mind and still support supply management? Uh, freer markets is a, is a conservative principle that makes sense. I, I, I don't know what the other candidates are saying, but this is the conversation I think we need to have. This is what I'm proposing, and my campaign will only be about what I think are positive policies that actually help Canadians, that actually make life more affordable for Canadians, that actually make Canadians but, freer and great more opportunity right. for Canadians. But, That's what I'm interested in talking about. Okay, which is interesting, but you know the Conservative, in, in every election, the Conservative Party has supported what they call stability for farmers, supported supply management. You, you know, when you ran under the banner of Aaron O'Toole, you were supporting supply management. So do you think the Conservative Party should ditch that policy? I think it's time for that policy to change. Absolutely. Okay, <laughs> I've got you just for... Uh, you and I spoke already on CTV's question period about some of your policies. I, I just want to, because this is a big issue in Quebec, uh, do you support the, the, if you were the leader, would you support the child care issue? Um, the Liberals have signed these child care deals with all the provinces. Uh, would you rip those up and renegotiate those or keep them? No, I, I would keep them just because there's been a lot of work going into them. It's not the way I would have done things. I, I think that the federal government needs to get out of provincial right. affairs, frankly. But the work has been done, uh, particularly here in Ontario. There's been extra work done to make right. sure they get the right agreement. I would, uh, I would honor those agreements. And finally, if you're going to get rid of protections on farmers and supply management, what, would you get rid of protections on banks? Would you let American banks come in? Would you get protections around telco? Are all those things that a Scott Aitchison would, would get rid of? Well, let, let, me, let me not entirely agree with the premise of your question. Uh, there are still protections for farmers. There will be protections for consumers. Uh, I've heard over and over again people say, oh, my goodness, we're going to be flooded with terrible American product with hormones in it. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency will still be there to make sure that Canadians have good quality food on their tables. Uh, and creating opportunity for Canadian farmers around the world is important. Banks have lots of opportunities around the world. They have taken those opportunities in many in many circumstances. But, but, but it's still so protected. I'm about I'm about creating opportunity for Canadian business oh, okay. and making life more affordable. Okay, for but, but I just I'm just trying to get a straight answer. So if you want to get rid of supply management, would you get rid of the protections around banks, around uh, foreign ownership of airlines, around telcos? Is all that stuff that's targeted by an HSN campaign? The, lots of time for conversations about all the other industries in our country. Today we're talking about food and the fact that it costs Canadians too much money to eat. 